Welcome back to Daily Driven Alpha. Uh, right, a bit of a, an update on the, the coupe. Mission for today is uh, for us to straighten out this uh, step nose, the front deck. Um, in the past, you can see uh, it's had a little bit of damage and uh, back then they've brazed some stuff, they've cut some holes in it uh, where they've, as you can see here, where they've actually gone through and in old school uh, technology they've uh, put in uh, plates underneath or bolts and then they've tried to lift the, uh, the deck. So what we're doing today, as you can see by all the little studs that are welded on, uh, we're using what's called a tack and pull. Uh, these aren't very expensive equipment, pieces of equipment. They're actually uh, a small welder and I guess you'll see the tip there that gets used which has gotten the electrode and then you know it comes with a bag of copper studs these uh, these get inserted uh, into the end of uh, the machine here slide in and then these external um, tips make contact with um, the, the steel and the electrode you pull the triggers and what happens is uh, it welds these little studs on. So we've sort of done that across the entire deck in all the little low spots after we've cleaned it up. And you can see that uh, we've done it in a pattern, well, not so much a pattern, but um, in an array so that we're going to get lots of lifting across lots of areas gently without uh, trying to do it all in one go. I guess this is the other piece that comes with it, which is a slide hammer. And uh, these slide hammers, um, what they do is they sit across the, the stud like that. You tighten up the lower portion there, and then using this heavy um, sliding hammer, you just ram it up um, as, with as much force or as little force as you think is necessary, and you just gently work your way across. So the whole intention here today is to try and even this up, uh, lift the, the deck up a bit. We've done some work on the bonnet and we've got that sitting pretty nicely. But what we need to do, as you can see here, is get this up a bit so that uh, it's uh, level with the original um, contour uh, of the step nose. And uh, once we do that, then we'll get a really nice... Um, fit with the bonnet uh, line sitting across there so that's going to be us for today a um, little bit of other work that we've done we've gone round the car again uh, redone some of the areas that we found where we had low spots and once again we've put some spray putty in here little tiny low spots found a couple more very very minor but uh, we're getting very close now to um, putting, putting uh, some two-pack epoxy primer on this car and, uh, and then getting it prepared. However, these one area, and I have spoken about it before, but we do need to cut the section out here and just fabricate a piece of steel and weld that in. Um, that's pretty much uh, the last bit of repair work that we're going to have to do on this car. Everything else is pretty much ready to go, so it's a, it's a matter of cleaning it up um, and doing all the laborious uh, stuff, especially on the interior before we paint. Uh, all these glues and uh, all this leftover foam, etc., that all needs to come off. We need to wash it down, even up into the into the roof we need to clean all that down and you'll see here on the you can see it on the pillar over there and on the pillar here you've got uh, a lot of the old glue that's still sitting here so that all needs to come off so that we can get good adhesion when we actually spray it obviously we need to clean all the material that we've just been loosely storing in the interior of the car get it tidied up but uh, 
during this long weekend Easter break here in, in Australia. Uh, we're putting some hours into this and um, I'm hoping within the next week uh, we can put a video up with, uh, with some real progress for everyone to have a look at. So exciting stuff and uh, we'll also post a video uh, once we get the bonnet and the deck in some shape that we're happy with and uh, you'll be able to see how that lines up. Anyway, once again, uh, thanks for choosing to follow our journey here at Daily Driven Alpha and uh, we hope uh, your projects are going well. Like, subscribe, share these videos with others and uh, we'll see you on the next post. Thanks for watching.